Cecilia in Brooklyn, New York wrote, how do you copyright a character and what are the processes involved prior to licensing? Well, you do start out by copywriting every piece of art that's created. So make sure you copyright everything. And actually before going out and licensing something, I would recommend that you register the copyrights with the Copyright Office. And as many of you know, or you may not know, that registering your copyright does not mean that you are protected by the law. It means only that you can defend your images, defend your character and your property if and when someone tries to use them. So it's part of the process that you need to go through. So to start, yes, use the same copyright that you would on your art, put that on all your characters, all your poses, everything. And before you license your characters, make sure you register it. But you need to do more because with characters, you've got trademarks that can really protect you know, the image of a character in a certain way along with the name, the brand name. So you need to consult with a trademark attorney and probably establish the trademark for your character, the brand name that you're going to be using with your character property. And you need to start in the U.S. with whatever products you think you're going to start with. So you might start with television and uh, publishing, or you might start with publishing and toys or publishing and apparel, <laughs> you know, something like that. So pick a couple of product categories and know that trademarks are always done in a country for a country and a product category. So those are the two things that are combined and you do, so you do the U.S. for stationery, Canada for stationery, Japan for stationery, or the U.S. for women's apparel, U.S. for stationery, U.S. for food and beverage, U.S. for publishing, U.S. for media, etc. It's just important for me to have you know that the trademarks are important to do. Start in the U.S., start with some areas that you've prioritized, you know, where you're going to go get your exposure and try to do your first products and then expand from there and then expand internationally.